so we knocked out the subtitle last time and like i said i think i mentioned the next i think the next logical stop for us to move on to is the menu up here because right now if we click on this like about which we haven't created anything we're obviously going to get an error so yeah let's just uh move on to that and start working on how we can um yeah get that dynamically generated by voyager all right so so basically everything in here is generally good to go except for this specific navigation right here now if we go into our admin panel we have the menu builder which is pretty awesome so right now we have an admin one and if we click on builder right we can view what's in there which if, if you notice matches right here dashboard roles users media post pages categories that's the admin menu so it, the admin menu itself is built in the voyager like admin which is pretty cool so now we're actually just going to add a new one and we're just going to call it main because it's kind of the main menu of the site so let's just start there it'll work and we're going to go on the, the builder and we're just going to call this one home the url is just going to be real simple just a slash to go home and yep we can just add that uh, and then we're just going to add an about we'll just kind of keep the convention that the original um, menu had uh, it does say sample post but that's probably not anything so why don't we I mean the blog is uh, their home page currently uh, so let's just skip a sample post because it's not really gonna do anything for us and we'll just go contact and then we'll add that item as well and that's created and now I think we can just call this main menu here uh which is a pretty i don't know if you noticed like uh this has this created as menu main and if we were to jump back to the admin one uh we can do that and so and then also if you look in these settings there's these little so anything in this little like kind of uh red text i guess you can copy and just kind of it'll output whatever kind of it's referring to which is pretty cool so something to pay attention to uh so why don't we just why don't we leave that for right now and then we'll just put out what we were trying to do which was the menu main and let's see what that gives us okay so we uh okay so we are getting something but it doesn't quite match what we have uh so let's see we have a ul okay and so this is the one this is the one that comes with our theme and then this is the one that is um generated by voyager so the difference here is okay the ul doesn't have this class of nav navbar nav navbar right the li uh, has an active and so i think for the most part everything's good it's just really if we could uh just add a class equals nav nav bar nav nav bar right ah of course i mistyped nav nav bar nav nav bar right okay so that's pretty close to what we did have uh, it's got that big active thing I don't know if we necessarily want that on there, but so we can get this class on the UL, then we should be good to go. So let's try to figure that out. So we come to the documentation, we check out the menus, uh, which kind of walks us through the builder, kind of adding some menus, display. This will output your in an unstyled list if you want bootstrap styling, do it like so. Okay, so menu display, uh, so we can pass, looks like a second parameter, and it'll format it a certain way. So what we could do is just come in here and say bootstrap, and let's see what we get if we refresh from there. Okay, so we get our navbar, navbar, nav, but we don't get navbar right. Okay, so that's pretty close, but not quite what we need. Uh, so what can we do? So 
looks like there's also this ability to create a new view and we can customize that kind of however we want and then we can just reference the view name uh, just by passing in that as a string. So I think what we really kind of maybe want to do or the most accurate, ah, where am I, where am I going, what's going on here? The most accurate way for us to recreate what we have is to come in here and copy the element, okay? And then if we come into our views and we create a new folder, we call this men menus and a new file main.blade.php. All right. Okay, so now we might want to jump back to the documentation. So it's kind of doing like basically is given access to a menu items array. So we copied that and if we just come in and replace the contents with this. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, leave that just for now. So we can compare like how do these actually line up, right? Or match up. So we have an li, that's good, a href, or href, and looks like it's got the menu item URL and then the title. So really all of these items match up perfectly. And since we copied the classes from the other, now we just need to tell this, instead of bootstrap, why don't you just do menus.main? And if we come back with any luck, okay, so now we're getting the exact same style of menu, except now we have both of them which means at this point we can pretty much just delete this one and we've got our menu already dynamic built from the back end of Voyager. So now these links don't work, but that's because we haven't built the about page or the contact page, but the menu is working as it should. So we can come back here and the menu works brilliantly. So that's pretty much how you can create a custom menu. If we really wanted to get into uh, active classes, we, there's things we can do for that, but that's the basics of adding that menu. And uh, in the next episodes, we'll be driving out these last two contact or about and contact page. And that's pretty much this entire um, theme built out. And or I guess there's a couple things we could do, like adding a, uh, like if we wanted to show the posts of this author in a different view, we could do, you know, a different kind of index view for that. Uh, but for the most part, I mean, this is pretty much done. Like this site, you could add on some more stuff and we'll get into a couple more things. But uh, other than that, building out these pages, uh, we're pretty much done. So I don't know, it's pretty quick. That's why I think Voyager is a really interesting package. And I'm really excited to see where it goes in the next, you know, six months because it is it is powerful. So. Anyway, uh, let's. I think next I'm going to add on something and I'm going to leave it there and I'll let you, I'll, I'll, you guys will know when I uh, work on the next part. So stay tuned.